A pileup of flight cancellations on the heels of a powerful winter storm. Thousands of holiday travelers left stranded and waiting for answers. Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Courtney Cole. Dave and Elisa are off tonight. Flight cancellations and delays from Southwest Airlines are causing some major headaches for travelers across the country and drawing federal scrutiny. Yeah, thousands are still waiting to learn when they'll reach their destinations, yet the airline is already warning of more mass cancellations throughout the week. What was supposed to be a relaxing holiday season has really become a mess for so many people. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer has this story. Another busy night here at Logan International Airport, but for travelers who booked this week on Southwest, they likely aren't making it to their final destination tonight. Now Senator Ed Markey is calling on the airline to compensate passengers, saying these delays were avoidable. Now the travelers who were lucky enough to make it into Boston tonight weren't sure their bags made it with them. This carousel of Southwest baggage filled with luggage without any passengers to pick it up after 24 hours and nearly 10,000 flights canceled. They just said that my bag was coming in on another plane from, from Baltimore. Pamela Fenner booked a new flight after learning about her Southwest cancellation in Baltimore yesterday. Okay. And I just came in from American. She came off her flight to the Southwest baggage claim where she was told to look for her bag. So I figured I'd, I'd get my bag tomorrow. And they said, no, it's coming in right now on a plane. The Southwest travelers WBZ spoke to were told they couldn't pick up their checked bags after their canceled flights. They said that, uh, no, it has to be put onto another plane to come here. And I'm like, when? In a statement, the airline says they'll be flying roughly one third of their schedule over the next several days. I got the last seat on the, the only flight available for Saturday, which is the soonest. Leaving passengers who were rebooked stuck through the holiday. Unfortunately, it's past the new year, so it's like next week. Um, so, I, I mean, my vacation is this week. The U.S. Department of Transportation is now looking into Southwest's cancellations and whether or not the airline is complying with its customer service plan. The airline canceled 60% of its flights across the country today. Out of Logan, only one is scheduled to depart. In Boston, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.